Paul, Evan, super congratulations on the sub three last weekend. This weekend, I'm going to be going for my sub three at the Woodlands, and I'm going to dedicate a mile to each person for all 26 miles. And you guys are going to be tw mile 21 and 22. That's when I'm going to turn up the heat when I go get my sub three. You guys are an inspiration. Awesome job. Welcome to another episode of the HRC Marathon Training Vlog. MK here, and we're back on the daily vlog. It's so good to be back. Thanks so much to the Midlife Runner for that awesome shout out. We are so stoked to see you get your sub three at the Woodlands Marathon this weekend. Let's go! And thank you for all the love that you're showing for our Venture Marathon race video. I usually do the race recap along with the race video and roll it all up into one. But decided to just stay in the moment with the race video and do the recap separately. So I'll be doing a race recap segment by segment over the next few days so that we can get the first person perspective of Cole and Evan during their awesome sub three marathons in the Venture Marathon on Sunday. All right. Today, we're gonna to talk about the key moments leading up to the race that Cole and Evan felt were impactful in helping them reach their sub three marathons in Ventura. I'm finishing up my 10 miles of recovery after dropping off Evan at school. The kids are still recovering from the marathon and we'll start doing another base build after they've recovered. I'm finishing up my 10 miles of recovery in preparation for the LA Marathon, which I'll use as a long run and help do some pacing for Haven in her BQ attempt. Okay, let's drop in on the kids this morning and find out what their pre-race tips are. All right, let's go. Hey Evan, what were some key moments for you before the race that you feel like led to your 258 marathon in Ventura? Um, I think the shakeout run was a huge uh, motivation for me. The, the shakeout run had a lot of energy. Uh, a lot of people were there that I that I was really excited to uh, meet. The experience was amazing, and I think that contributed a lot to my marathon. Was this the first time that you went on a shakeout run? It wasn't my first shakeout run, but it was special because of the people who were there. Hey Cole, what were some key moments for you pre-race that you felt led to your 257 in the Ventura Marathon? Uh, I think one of the key moments for me was not eating meat before the day of the race. Not eating meat? What do you mean? Uh, meat's a big part of my diet and I'm used to having it every meal. But this time, I wanted to feel a little fresher and more comfortable during the race. So do you think that it made a difference? Uh, yes, I think it did. My morning routine was a lot smoother and on the race, I felt very light. What were some other key moments for you pre-race leading to the marathon? I think another key thing was that we didn't watch TV at the hotel we were staying in and we were more involved with each other and the people that were racing and i think we were just really connected with what's going on during the race weekend did you talk specifically about the race uh, after you gave me the pace breakdown uh, we must have talked about it uh, like five or six times yeah i remember when i gave you the race strategy and you tried to resummarize it to me for practice to make it kind of comfortable and second nature and then even when I dropped you off at the shuttles we're in the car and I'm like a, a hot mess but you still asked me to break it down with you one more time and we each did it once and I think that was super key you're it was just ingrained and almost like second nature to you huh yes that's awesome one less stress baby one less stress before the start I was super positive and I was trying to talk to those around me. Yeah, she was she was way more positive 
than she's ever been uh, compared to other races. I think whatever you can do to kind of take away a stress will be a little bit less of a burden during the race and you can go a little bit further without having to burn a match. Well done, Evan. Thank you. Any other key moments before the race that you felt like led to your sub three performances for both you and Evan at the Ventura Marathon? I think this was the most important moment before the race was that. And it was when we found JJ at the starting shoot. What happened? We had planned to meet at the starting line, but when we got off the shuttle bus, we were looking around and we couldn't find him. And just minutes before the start, we found him <laughs> and we were able to run together. Why do you feel like that was such a key pre-race moment? I think that it led to a lot of important things during the race, but uh, I'll talk about that in the next vlog episode. Awesome. <laughs> Looking forward to it, buddy. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Cole and Evan. Learning a lot from you guys. Hey, we're getting a lot more content up on Instagram. So visit us at All Heart RC to get your daily fix of motivation. All right, let's go. You can see this run and all of my workouts on Strava by searching for Michael Kim at All Heart RC. And go ahead and visit our Strava Club while you're at it by searching for AHRC. Need a personal training coach? I'm available, but I only have a few spots left. So if you're interested, then email me at allheartrc at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with program details. Giant shout out to Eric at Flowbird Runs, Floris at Floris Gearman, and Andrew at Midlife Runner. Thanks so much for the words of encouragement for Cole and Evan. They love them. They especially love watching Eric's mini movies. They're so entertaining. Guess what? Eric has a not so mini movie, Moving Still. Trailer's out and they're doing initial screenings. So be on the lookout. If you watch the trailer in the description, there are instructions on how to get tickets for a screening. If you're looking for a training program that is more holistic and takes into account balancing work, life, and running, then please consider the Extra Miles program with Laura Skierman. Really great program because it not only helps you get to your goal, but keeps you healthy. To be honest, I don't uh, watch a lot of running content on YouTube, even though I'm a YouTube vlogger. <laughs> it's kind of ironic, but I do watch Midlife Runner. I connect with him, I relate to him, because I'm also a runner approaching my 50s. And his vlogs are very entertaining, super funny. And his struggles are struggles that I think we can all relate to. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna go home and enjoy me a fantastic meal. I hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye now.